Hi, this video will be about how LDRA can help you with IEC 62443-4-1. IEC 62443-4-1 is a standard that addresses cybersecurity protection methods and techniques. With Industry 4.0, cyber physical systems are more connected now than ever. They need day-to-day -day protection from any security threats generated internally and or externally. This standard extends the scope for addressing the security requirements for a product or device which is used in a connected environment. Compliance with this standard requires following a secure development lifecycle. This means having a process activities such as security requirement definitions, secure design, secure implementation with application of coding guidelines, verification and validation, defect management, patch management, and product end of life. And by complying with the standard, your company is able to meet the client's need for security for their connected device. This is our tool TB Manager. One of the things that you can do in our tool TB Manager is you can use Objectives Compliance for a specific standard. If I go to the import button here and go to import standards objectives, we can see all the standard objectives that we support out of the box. We support many functional safety standards and security standards as well. And we can see here we have some for the FAA, the automotive, so on and so forth. But the one we're interested in is the IC62443 version. And I've already pulled that in here on the left here. And so what this can do is it allows you to do objectives tracking. So as you're following the secure development lifecycle and following this standard, uh, this table will allow you to see how far along you are in compliance to this standard as you're going through your development lifecycle. Uh, this is taken directly from the standard itself and any sections that require any assets or artifacts uh, they have sections for them. And so if you have those documents or if you have those reports with evidence, uh, you can actually drag and drop them here. And so if it's on your file system, you can pull them up in here and then you can drag and drop them in. And you'll see how far along you are in that process. So you can see for SI2, um, I fulfilled one in the section and this one only has one output asset. So it's 100% fulfilled. And so as you're going through your development lifecycle, you can see uh, what percentage you'll be at as you start gathering your documents and your reports uh, for this specific standard. Here is our tool TB Vision. You can use it to do static analysis on the source code and check it against a secure coding standard like Cert C, Cert C++, or CWE. I have a project here with 10 C++ source files that I've already done analysis on. You could choose which C++ standard model you want to check against. Now, if you have C code, you could check against C code as well. Uh, in this case here, I've chosen search C++ 2016. And then I, if I want to see the violations, I can go to view code review. That'll bring up the violations here, and it'll be organized by project, source file, header file, then functions. And in between them, they'll have the specific violations that's been found against the coding standard. And we'll see the specific rule set here. And I could double click on these to see the expanded definition for these rules and uh, see example source code for non-compliance as well. You can also bring up the code review report here if you want to as well. Also, you can do requirement-based testing in TV Vision on the security requirements and the source code. You can view the code coverage results to see if enough dynamic coverage was done. In TB Vision here, I can right click here and go to view code coverage and see how much coverage I have so far. Uh, this is organized in a similar manner to static analysis. Uh, and we can see the different metrics, statement coverage, branch decision coverage, and MCDC. And this is an aggregated view. So as you gather more coverage or do more dynamic analysis runs, you'll be able to aggregate the coverage together to see the total coverage. Here is our tool TB Run which is a unit testing or low-level testing tool. 
You can create test cases here and the tool will automatically generate a harness with a driver function, utility functions, test cases, and even stubs and globals. Once the test cases are created, you can do regression testing to make sure that the source files that are developed satisfy the security requirements. Now I have created some test cases here already. We have two test cases here and currently we're clicked on test case number two. Uh, bottom right here in the variable IO view, we can see the inputs and outputs. And I've already specified the specific values here uh, for this variable. We can also see what type it is in this uh, window and we can also see how it's used. Now to run this, I just have to do run driver, run driver, and we'll be able to run it, regress it, and see if we get a pass or fail depending on the inputs for the test case and the expected outputs. Now at the unit test level, we can also capture co-coverage and see what statement coverage we get, branch decision coverage we get, or and or MCDC coverage that we get. In regards to security, robustness testing can be done, including boundary edge conditions, stress and malformed, or even unexpected input tests specifically targeted at security. Also in TB Run, test cases can be set up to do vulnerability tests to ensure the elimination of known weaknesses. All the dynamic testing and the unit testing that I've mentioned can also all be done on the embedded target or on the host as well. Here are some links if you want more information for secure software development and about IEC 62443-4-1. If you have any questions, please visit LDRE.com or contact us at one of these platforms below. Thank you.